that yeah. one. I'll call this meeting of the aviation committee uh, to uh, to order. Uh, Mary Beth is uh, not going to be here today, uh, so I think actually if we just start, we have a new member, uh, by Chisorni. Yep. Yes, I practiced <laughs> last night. I reviewed the tape. Uh, so we got a new new member of our committee. Welcome. Is there anything you'd like to say? I'm excited to be here. Happy. Uh, I'm an aviator, in case you guys didn't know it. Uh, I've been involved with the Young Eagles program in EAA from way back when, and just recently I accomplished my 1,000th flight. So, but I'm excited to be on the committee, and uh, let's go. All right. Thanks so much for being here. This is the uh, most exciting committee that the county board has, as evidenced by how many people come to watch the casino. <laughs> it actually is the most. <laughs> yeah, that part's not a joke. Unless they're yeah. forced to be there. <laughs> come see one of our That'll audience. That would be for me. So <laughs> a bit forced on that one. All right. Item number one is approving the minutes from November 8, 2023. Move to I'll second. All right. Any additions, comments, or corrections? All right. All in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. Aye. All, right. aye. all opposed, say nay. Carries. Yeah. Item two, public comment on the agenda uh, or any items under the jurisdiction of the committee. Anybody from the public? All right. We'll close that and move on to item number three, the director's report. Thank you, Mr. Chair, uh, members of the committee. Um, I'll start by saying I'm wearing the mask because the test positive for COVID on Monday. Um, so it's been a rough few days for me, but I'm here. And we're getting the meeting done. And uh, like I said, trying to distance from everybody and not spread it around the best I can. So <clears throat> with that, um, I'll give the East G Hangar Project update. Um, I know there's some questions about how far the progress is on the buildings. There's a, um, a photo in your packet that kind of just shows um, where it was as of the end of November. Um, so if you have had a chance to take a look at that, uh, clearly shows all roofs, walls, um, hangar doors are all installed. Um, door motors in all the units are all installed as well. Um, the West building is further along than the East building. So the West building um, really just has um, a couple of heater units left to install as of a few days ago. <clears throat> um, and the East building um, has a fair amount of work left to accomplish. Um, the East building has electrical that needs to be run, um, and then all of the uh, heating units that still need to be installed. Those kind of the main two uh, work items on the East building. Um, we have a construction progress meeting every other week with our engineering consultant and the general contractor. We had that last week, so we'll have it again next week. And essentially, right now on the West building, we're looking at getting a punch list identified so that we can all uh, kind of work through that as it is on every building project um, and then starting to make the um, starting to make the communication with the city to start working on a date for you know, walk through inspection with the city um, building folks so that we can get certificate out to see our we're shooting for the west building ahead of the east building um, because it is obviously much further along um, that said we're kind of have to balance how much work is going to be left on the East building when the West building is kind of ready for occupancy. So if we start getting people in there and airplanes in there uh, in the West building, we don't want the contractor to be in the way of people pulling the airplanes in and out. So we're kind of uh, working through that with the contractor and our engineering firm to figure out what makes the most sense there. Uh, but we are um, on the entire project still shooting for mid-January uh, completion of the hangars, uh, but we could have occupancy of the West hangar building um, uh, maybe a couple of weeks prior to that, so somewhere on the first uh, or the end of this month. Um, but again, um, we'll probably know more uh, as we work through all this again next Tuesday when we have a next progress meeting. Uh, but aside from that, um, I'll also mention uh, I was planning to give the full county board an update on the hangar project once it's complete, and I was hoping that was going to be in December, but obviously it's not tracking that way at the moment. But there are special orders meetings in January. For the capital projects for 2024, but I've asked to be on um, one of those special order. I think I feel like there's two. Is that right? Um, there's a January, January special orders. 
Um, but just to give the full county board presentation from start to finish on the hangar project, um, and then by that point, it'll be pretty close to fully complete. So um, that's kind of the plan there. So it's circle back with the county board. So happy to answer any questions about the hangar project. Questions from the board about the hangar project? Okay. No questions, we can move on to maintenance and operations. <laughs> so as the committee is aware, and I think I think all of our tenants that are in the room probably are aware, um, I sent out an email blast to our tenants, I sent out an email blast to the committee. Um, Jason Stuker, who was our operations and maintenance manager now for almost the last two years, so been with the airport for about five, uh, decided to uh, leave Winnebago County's employment. Uh, he's decided uh, he's no longer desires at this, at least at this moment in time to be employed. And uh, he wants to uh, take a break and work on some things for himself. So um, he's not taking another job right now. He's um, got a full pension, fully retired from the Air Force. So um, without going into too many other details, he's able to make that move right now. Um, and so for personal reasons, he's decided to um, no longer work here. Um, we're incredibly uh, disappointed to see him go. It was certainly a surprise for everyone on the staff. Um, he could have knocked me over with a feather of the day he had me his, his letter. So um, with that being said, we're in now the snow season, and that's a very integral part of our <laughs> operations staff, making sure that um, by and large snow crews are doing what they need to be doing. Um, obviously, when he's not available, Cameron and I step in in that role plenty of times throughout, throughout the winter. But having an extra person around certainly helps um, when we kind of face a pretty long winter here. So. The recruitment for that is open right now to the county. We've also posted through um, AAAE, American Association of Airport Executives Career Center, which we've done before for this position, and similar positions like myself, my position when I was hired, um, the deputy director position when we hired for that. Um, that's a national recruitment that goes out to all airport professionals that are looking for jobs. Um, nationwide. So um, we're closing the recruitment on December 11th. And after that, we'll look to conduct interviews before Christmas. So that said, um, we're looking to fill the position as soon as possible. If anybody knows someone that uh, meets the qualifications, I'd say the biggest thing is a maintenance background. We've got a lot of things to maintain, both building-wise and airfield-wise. Um, it's great bonus if they have airport operations experience um, to any degree, but also um, something we're looking for is management experience as well. So we're very flexible on looking at all candidates. Um, they have another uh, one or two internal candidates that um, are applying for the job, which we're uh, excited for as well. But at that at that point, we'll take a look at all the applicants and, and kind of move forward from that. Have to answer any questions about that one. <clears throat> you want to self serve people update? Um, so this month I really don't have much for a self serve fuel update. I reached out to Justin probably a little bit late in the game. Um, haven't heard back from him. Um, I don't believe he, he had a whole lot of progress from or anything to update the committee on from last month. Uh, Mary Beth had asked that we keep this one on the agenda um, each month. Um, and so if, if there is any uh, progress that's been made and if he gets back to me today or tomorrow or the next day, um, I'll certainly relay, relay that to the committee. Um, but I think we're all aware of kind of where that was from last month, so I won't rehash all that. Um, that's all I really have on the self group. Okay. All right, any questions for the director? All right. We're to get fixed. That's it. <laughs> well, that's a brand new self serve. Um, they're not fixing the old one. So the brand, brand new right over here. Right. Um, situation for the self serve. So. Um, but as far as I guess, yeah, as far as as far as the new components and everything like that, uh, we're all very anxious to see um, that being put into service. So, yeah. but, just to put it in context, you know, this airport is really important for this airport. Uh, I think it. You all have experience. This is not breakthrough technology. It's been more than two years we haven't been able to get it to work. You all probably have used a self-service gasoline pump probably in the last week. There are hundreds of thousands of them around. In more than two years, we haven't been able to 
get one that's functional here. And I'm just amazed that we're all just seem to be okay that it just. Well, I'm not okay with it. So <laughs> just FYI, not okay. Just didn't know the situation was going on. So I'm happy that it's on our agenda. I will, I'll just point out the parent self serve does function. Maybe not great. We all understand that, but it does function. I've used it myself. So understand your concerns, Fred. Right if the if you know how to use it, you can make it work. But we are, you know, the highest gasoline prices in the area are Oshkosh and Palm by far, uh, and we have the worst facility. <laughs> Just a level set back. All right, we'll go on to item four, uh, discuss and approve a hangar lease renewal between Kevin Green and Winnebago County. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Director. Yep. Um, thank you. So Kevin Green has been a tenant of ours for quite a few years, um, I believe over 25. Um, he's rented hangar L809A for uh, some time now. Um, this is the standard lease renewal for that hangar. Um, it's over here on the north side. Um, <clears throat> very, uh, right across from where New View is. Uh, so three year lease renewal, the hangar is 1,386 square feet. <coughs> the hangar rate for 2024 increases by CPI um, from the prior year, which is 3.3%. So the term is February 1st from 2024 through January 31st of 2027 for the three year hangar lease. Um, for the initial year of this lease, it's four hundred fifteen seventy three dollars per month plus tax. It also it includes a CPI adjustment each year of each year in the term of the three year lease as well. So increased by CPI each year throughout the term of the lease. I'd like to move to approve this lease for Kevin Green. <laughs> I'll second. All right. Any other discussion? All right. All in favor of approving the. Hanger lease renewal between Kevin Green and Winnebago County, say aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Here he is. Do you mind trying to save your voice a little bit? Well, I'm fine. Uh, item five, discuss and approve hanger lease renewal between Catherine Stannis and Winnebago County. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. <clears throat> this is very similar to Kevin Green's lease. Um, Catherine Stannis has also been a long-term tenant. Same complex is just next door to Kevin Green's hanger. It's a three-unit building. So for hers, it's L809B, same basic terms as, as Kevin Green, actually same rates as well, um, because it's identical unit. <laughs> Move to approve the hangar lease between Catherine Stannis and Winnebago County. Second. All right, any questions, any comments? All right, all in favor of approving a hangar lease between Catherine Stannis and Winnebago County, say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Carries. Item six, uh, anger renewal lease between uh, Michael J. Boy and Winnebago County. Um, this is the different um, hangar building itself. This is in the I hangers, um, which again is over here on the north side. These are some of the nicer hangers that the county owns and, and offers. Um, it's a 3,000 square foot hangar, includes office and restroom as well in that unit. Um, the rate is 1305.47 per month. This is actually one year lease renewal, as we've done with all the hangar in the I. Uh, complex. So, recommend approval of I four between Michael Boy and me. Move to approve. Second. All right. Any questions, comments? All right. All in favor of approving a lease between Michael J. Boy and Winnebago County, say aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Aries. Item seven: Discuss and approve an agricultural lease between Bremen Farming LLC and Winnebago County. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, so this is the agricultural lease for the business park property. Um, it has 33 acres of our 50 that is usable for um, agricultural cultivation. Um, we do an RFP on this every single year. Um, we just do one year um, agreements on the uh, business park property. Um, it doesn't give us the flexibility if we have something coming where we know that that land is about to be developed. We then would not put this RFP out again. Um, but again, it is a one year agreement. Mm -hmm. Mr. Brennan has been the uh, incumbent uh, lessee on the agricultural land for the last couple of years on this parcel. Um, and the bid came in at $150 per acre, uh, which I believe is, is an increase of what he had been uh, bidding on it uh, for the prior 
the last couple of years. And so I'm at $150 an acre, 33 acres, $49.50 for the year. Um, it allows us to get some revenue off of the business park land in the interim of uh, finding an aeronautical tenant to lease land in the park. So would recommend approval of the ag lease between Winnebago County and Brennan Farming and LLC. So, Jeffrey? Any questions or comments? Okay, all in favor of approving the lease between Brennan Farming LLC and Winnebago County, say aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Carries. Item eight, EAA report. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll pause on that. Then we'll uh, go. We'll come back to it in just a moment. We'll go to item nine, um, uh, chairman's report. I don't have anything. Item ten, committee members' statements, suggestions, items for future agenda. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I'll just mention next month we'll have a more um, comprehensive update on the self search status. Uh, it's been tough for the last week to try to get in touch with Justin with everything I've had going on. So, um, and I, again, I haven't heard anything from him. If he had some really good progress, I'm sure I wouldn't have heard about it. So, yeah, a few um, things on your plate this past couple of weeks. Yeah. So, I get it. But at any rate, I just want to say we understand the need for the new self serve, but unfortunately, Basler is the one that you know, kind of has control over that. Um, you know, we have a functioning self-serve, so it's not something where if, you know, we didn't have a functioning self-serve, they weren't meeting the terms of their agreement, we could sit here and enforce that. Um, but we wholeheartedly understand the, the need for the new self-serve view. We understand all of the, um, the concerns and all of the uh, issues that tenants and, and transit users you know, maybe not come here because it's just part of it, very difficult. So we get it. <clears throat> but we'll have a more uh, conversation about the next one. Okay. Uh, our next meeting date, uh, you have that? So we have that? Well, on calendar. it was like, it's great after New Year's. So I wasn't sure if you wanted to do that Wednesday or if you guys wanted to pump it out. It's like kind of like a blank. Thank you. Yeah, what does the committee think? Um, I guess we've been looking at we held our typical day it would be January 3rd um, is there any staff I mean for staffing is there any um, people going to be be here on, on, on the 3rd because I guess if you all are not then we can pull that out right away um, we're all anticipating being here right <laughs> like January 2nd special orders that oh. evening right what well, day is it? When special orders day? I think January second. Oh, special. let's do the tenth. Can we do the tenth? Because if special orders is on the circuit. Okay. You know how those go. I that that might go to nine or ten o'clock at night, and then trying to get here from Nina in the morning like this. No, I can we do sure. the tenth? You're being optimistic with nine. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just, yeah, I'd rather do the tenth if that's if that's okay with everybody else. I mean, that's just my opinion. I don't know anybody else here, but I it takes me twenty five minutes to get here in the morning, and it's yep, no objection here. Are you okay with everybody else? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody okay. okay. I purposely okay. left it blank because so I'm like, no. that was smart. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, if we didn't have that meeting prior to that, I would be fine with it, but. Okay. Yeah, it's not for fun when we have our meetings. It, it will work. probably not catch gotcha. eleven o'clock. Okay. Hey, so I don't want to come here that early like that. Okay. Um, Thank you. Did somebody step out to see if I took what? I'll hold it right up. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I, I didn't. I, I didn't know. I didn't want to hold this up. We seemed in a hurry too. Yeah. <laughs> but I also don't want to miss something important. Um, did you go on Christmas in the end? Oh, he's gone. She's going to tell you gone. Okay. Yeah. Um, motion to adjourn. Thank you for checking. Second. All right. All in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 Thank you. We are adjourned. January 10th. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, sir. Right. Thanks, everybody. Special orders yeah. is the stuff that we need to get done. How do you explain it? So make it's sure like we don't have extra. even longer regular. It's, it's explanation. It's yeah, like presentations of projects. So like 